after running out of fuel? How does that happen? So today I'm going to be checking out a band I have literally never heard of. Never even heard of this band called Leonard Skinner. Huh? There are no vowels in the name of this band. A lot of people have suggested them to me. It reminds me of an Irish name like Aoife, Avine, except it's the opposite because no vowels, whereas Irish names are all the vowels. I know nothing about this band other than when I went to see their highest viewed video. It is a lyrics only video, so we're gonna be doing that today, I guess. They came out before music videos were a thing. But some people had been wanting me to focus more on the music and less on the video, so we'll try that today. Here's a couple of reasons that I have not heard of a lot of these cool people bands that other people have. If you want to get these reactions before anybody else, do go check out patreon.com slash Diane Jennings. You will get them early there and other stuff and things. As ever, stick with me till the end when I will look up more stuff about them. We go on a learning journey after we listen to the song. So this song is called Simple Man by Leonard Skinner. Leonard Skinner. It's fun to say.
Birthday Songs. title for a very simple song you don't get songs with simple messages like that anymore i know the irony but like it's just you know live a good life have a happy life okay so they sounded american let's look up a little bit more about leonard skinner a lot of people sing in american accents so that's no indication leonard skinner is an american rock band formed in jacksonville florida the group originally formed as my backyard and comprised ronnie van sant Gary Rosington, Alan Collins, Larry Hulenstrom, that definitely sounds Scandinavian, and Bob Burns. The band spent five years touring small venues under various names and with several lineup changes before deciding on Leonard Skernard in 1969. Oh! Oh my God! Plane crash! Following a performance at the Greenville Memorial Auditorium on October 20th, 1977, the band boarded a chartered Convair bound for Louisiana, where they were scheduled to appear at LSU the following night. After running out of fuel? How does that happen? The pilots attempted an emergency landing before crashing in heavily forested area five miles north of Mississippi. Ronnie, Stevie, along with backup singer Cassie, Steve's older sister, assistant road manager, the pilot and co-pilot were killed on impact. <gasps> How do you run out of fuel? Other band members and several road crew members suffered serious injuries. Oh my God. The accident came just three days after the release of the group's fifth studio album. They disbanded after the tragedy, reuniting only on one occasion to perform an instrumental version of Freebird at the Charlie Daniels Volunteer Jam in January 1979. Jesus. They returned in 1987 till 1995. Oh my gosh. Since then, there have been a number of member changes and passing aways. Oh my God, that is tragic. They were named after, now this is interesting because I did not know. They were named after Leonard Skinner, a no nonsense flat topped basketball coach who was a gym teacher at Robert E. Lee High School in Jacksonville, Florida. They had a gritty working class attitude and a triple guitar attack, which set them apart from the rest. Oh my gosh. I feel like I wanna learn more about the plane accident because it does, it can't be as straightforward as they just ran out of fuel. That seems like a very rookie oversight by a pilot. I also kinda wanna check out one of their live performances. Do suggest some to me below in the comments. 